Chris, you so much was positive there, so much was right, went to the game plan. You must be pleased with what you've just seen. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the players, obviously we played a good game at Forest Green in the first tie. So we knew that the uh, possession-based team, uh, you've heard me obviously speak often and highly regard the way they play, the manager, uh, the players, how they actually play that possession-based football. But ultimately, we, we stuck to task. Um, we scored another goal that got disallowed and obviously we scored a goal that was legal. So really pleased with the fact that we've got through. In the short time that you've been here and previously in games that we've played, we've had spells where it looked like we were going to score and we haven't. We did it tonight. When it looked like a goal was coming, it came. It did. I mean, <clears throat> I've been working really hard individually with players because they need to, uh, they've been sleepwalking. They need waking up. And uh, like I spoke to Lofty about the extra five yards. I mean, Nathan, if Nathan, if I play with Nathan Thomas and he's on the football, I am 100% getting in that six yard box. And the extra five yards first half tonight, we went for the efforts that were, they were going all in. I need to get better at doing it, but the extra five yards will provide him and others more goals. Thomas did it, didn't he? He put the ball across. That's an example of what you're talking about yeah, now. First. Nobody there. Yeah, but you know, Hallam Holt was two, three yards short. Um, he's put a massive shift in on uh, Saturday against Morecambe. I got the statistics, the physical statistics. He's ran harder, further, and faster than he's ever done all season. So I knew that the boys would carry fatigue from the Morgan fixture. But at the same point, looking at our squad and how we can look to develop it, um, you know, I just felt like sticking with more or less the lads that started that football match, obviously John Mellish is injured. But it was uh, it was a big ask of them playing against a possession based team on our pitch, which is a which is a bigger pitch. But I was really pleased with the efforts and the commitments. And the goal set piece and somebody getting on the end of it. Uh, well Aaron Hayden, what can I say? Um, physical, well, I've said it, physical, quick, committed, um, represents uh, hard work, opportunity. Uh, he's now been given it and he's took it. He took it in the first game as centre-half. Um, I had a, f a few conundrums, obviously, over the weekend from, from Morecambe. I had a busy day. I picked three teams on Sunday and I got two phone calls in the day that obviously made me change to what we ultimately came out with with our plan for, for Monday's uh, preparation for tonight. But uh, I'm really pleased with how the boys stuck to task and at times showed great quality and team spirit. Just on that selection, we might have expected Gethin Jones left back, he's done that before, but Aaron Hayden right back, where did that come from? Uh, well, Aaron actually played a lot of football non-league at right back. And, um, excuse me, he... he I need his physicality in both boxes and his in his attitude towards giving one hundred percent. Sometimes players get used to being professionals. It happens in any sort of job you do. But you gotta try and you gotta try and treat each day that you're at work like it's your first day at work. And Aaron does that. He is so humble and um he he gives a feeling of like almost like uh, how fortunate he is to actually be here and I know he worked very hard uh, previously to, to um, <clears throat> work hard to get in the team but I, what, I, I, I when I wasn't working I was watching lots of football matches and I seen him come on against Wolves here actually and I just loved the way that he'd obviously been at Wolves and against a good team uh, and his physicality and his cover and his speed and I just thought this team lacks that and we need to add to that along with the qualities that we already have, and he, he provides that. Have you spoken to him in particular? Have you said anything to him? Because something has been unlocked with that boy. Um, no, he's, he's, listen, I've told you before, it's, it's not about me, it's about the players. It's about the supporters. I enjoyed, obviously, my first home game to, to get a positive result. I mean, let's be right, you know, Carlisle United's in round three. We're going to Cardiff, and that feels really good. Um, you know, we, we, you know, when the draw came out, my son Brandon he was texting Mendes to give him some stick, like you know, uh, make sure he, he, Mendes said it, it, they'll be ready for us. Of course he will, but uh, we've got to enjoy that. Um, excellent finance for the football club. 
really good uh, obviously getting a positive result in your first home game for, for me personally <coughs> excuse me but I'm more pleased for the for the chairman uh, obviously David uh, Holsworth and Doubts of Football and the supporters and they were right behind everything we did and I don't know who it is obviously but there's a lad in the in, in the in the uh, paddock. paddock yeah and like I can feel what he feels uh, you know, and I want that to come out in our players because Carlisle, when I was a player, was a very harsh, hard place to get a result. And we've got to get that back. And with Endeavour, uh, commitment and consistencies, we can. We have got lots of obstacles present to make that better. Uh, you know, if you think about our, our staff, have been fantastic since I've came in. We do have to build and make things stronger. Um, but if you look at let's maybe Forest Green's options in terms of how they support how that first team play, it's above us, even though they're obviously a, a newer club, a, historically a smaller club. But we've got to grow again, and I want us to grow, and I want to do it real quick. Looks like you're enjoying the challenge that all of that brings that you've just mentioned. Uh, well, of course I am. You, you've often said that to me in, in other interviews, but um, I just want Carlisle people to enjoy coming to this football club. And we're not good. We're obviously not the biggest budget and not the biggest team, but the history suggests we are. But we've got to try and find a way to make us better at the moment and support that while we look at improving. You know. I obviously know where we are in the league and we need to win games and I will reward the players for winning games because I know that's what the, obviously we all want that's the, the currency of football in first team football is winning it's not how you play I want to play possession based football I want to play like Forest Green but I've got to get I've got to get like two three year turnovers to get to that point but while we can't we can give 100% and a little bit more to make sure we represent winning. You keep a clean sheet and it does not give you the base to work off. I'm not too sure, but is that the fifth one of the season? Somewhere around there. Yeah. And, <coughs> excuse me, we're playing a team that, that at the top of our league. So we know that the, we've gone, well, to be fair, I think the boys drew with them in the league before I came, is that correct? Yeah. So... We've gone toe to toe with them three times, two draws and a win. So what we need to do is make sure that like we enjoy tonight, we'll take that into our league form and everybody backs each other up in that moment. And that's what they did tonight as players. I mean Canice blocking that hard, he tackled Byron, who hits the floor that hard, that he's actually half a little bit concussed or a little bit dazed. But Byron's um ill, but he's giving one hundred percent. And I understand that I, I, I hear often in the interview on Saturday with, with the radio station, um, I don't, I want us to be a team and a family. So like, it's harsh to pick on one player in terms of like, it's your fault. It's not his fault. It's, it's our fault, the goals we concede. Ultimately it ends up in the last place before it goes in goal. But there's many moments before it gets there. And I want us to get better at stopping that before it becomes that. And then that will look after us in, in long term. Yeah.